Listen, I'm losing the fucking plot. For the first couple of weeks of quarantine, I'm not gonna lie, I was thriving. Not leaving my house. Hen, I don't leave my house anywhere. It's no challenge for me. I can do this, Boris. No bother, Hen. Not that he was present anywhere, but that's by the by. Then the fourth week came and I was a bit like, around me or from me. You know, I do kind of miss going to Tesco's and not having a panic attack. And then the fifth week, I was like, I've lost track of all sense of time. My social anxiety is at an all time high. It should be thriving right now. I'm not seeing no f I've, Me and my friends first couple of weeks, I've never interacted more. Never interacted more. All online, of course, because if you're going out to see your mates during quarantine, you're a selfish bastard. I don't make the rules, are we? Now, I'm nowhere to be seen. I'm appearing offline on Discord, which is something I don't usually do. I think I just needed to dig myself in a hole that big. The only other way was to go up and bitch, I'm out of that hole. Dyed my hair, curled my hair, ruined my hair, burnt my hair. It's fucking fresh. But you know what? It's thriving. If it falls out, who's gonna see? Just me. Because everybody's in a situation where it's like, what the fuck is normal anymore? I can't remember normal. To the point now where if I watch a TV show, right, or a film, and two people hold hands or cuddle, I'm like, woof, back off now. Social interaction and human touch is a, just such a bizarre concept right now. So, because it's been a big fat struggle for me lately, I'm assuming it is for loads to use as well. And I wanted to be awful is, but not in necessarily a bad way. So I distracted myself by watching Modern Family for a couple of hours the other day, and it was honestly perfection. And that's exactly what I want to bring you today. Just a little bit of a distraction. So that's exactly what I've done. I made the worst shell challenge a couple of weeks ago. I've topped it, love. I said, get that green screen, babe. Wait, hang on. While I'm waiting for this info to load. Boom! Thank you. I will accept rewards and cash. Cash only. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly because this house is just beyond ridiculous, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> But no, I really wanted to give you something that you would actually spend ages deliberating over because let me tell you, I've done a speed build of this, which I'm going to put in at the end to kind of show you how, what I've done with it and how I worked with it. This took some deliberation from me, right? I moved it from Newcrest to San Maishuno to finally Solani. Three moves until I worked it out. I finally did. So I made this on stream the other day and a lot of you were like, Jesse, no. And I was like, guys, yes. I think the last one was hard, but this one, it just looks borderline impossible. Do you know what I mean? Cubby hole, some random place basement to walls. These very interesting diagonal things. Basement, the ground floor, first floor. So yes. Now I'm going to go over some rules quickly with you. So you can add roofing or whatever you want to do. You could add roofing all over this bit. You're basically free to do as you like. The only thing that you can do is actually manipulate what I've already put there. So you can't like extend a room by one. You couldn't just delete that triangle. Now obviously if you want to take the shell and not upload it as to win, then do what you want with it. But if it's going to be uploaded as an actual entry, then you can't do anything like that. You can add these room things as well. So if you want to drag this room over, and do something with that. I mean, I've made a diving board, but you don't have to be as innovative as me loves. You can also add interior walls so you could section each bit off. Windows and everything, you're free to add. You can also add fences. So if you wanted to put a fence around there, I mean, this does need a hazard around it because this is a health and safety hazard. If ever I did see one of these. You can add pools. You can manipulate the terrain around it. You can also add these things for walls. This is a way to get around removing a wall. So for this back bit here, you could do one of them. I mean, you don't have to, but you could. You could just have like an entire house full of that. The main rule is you just can't touch walls and you can't add walls to the outside. The interior walls you can, it do a floor plan. It can also be any type of lot. It doesn't just have to be residential. It is a very hard shell. I want you to be distracted for a very, very, very long time. Like I want, I want to give you a little bit of some, just something to distract you. If you do want to take part as well, all you have to do is upload it to the gallery with the hashtag plum beevil for your submissions. Make sure you include the B as well. It's not plum evil, it's plum beevil. Include your discard ID as well. That's how we'll contact you. The winners just get whatever pack they want. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna jump on in my speed build because I'm actually excited to show you what I've done with it. I think I've done, I think I've done quite well. I had a lot of fun as well. So if you've got any questions for it as well, like if you want anything clarifying, there's like a shell challenge channel on my Discord. The link to the Discord's just in the description or it's discord.gg forward slash plumbella if you want to join there. And you can ask questions there. There's a much higher chance of them getting answered than on my YouTube comments. So yes, that's pretty much everything. Let's jump on into my speed build so I can show you what I've done. So I've mentioned before on my channel that I'm a bit of a closet builder. I mean, I say I'm coming out of it more now, but I'm not necessarily associated with building. It's generally more editing. And I do like to be associated with that editing brush. Like editing is a hobby of mine. Um, and also I do think that 50% of my content's editing, 50% is me actually recording. But building, I just 
love. And if you follow me on Twitch, the majority of my streams as well are building streams because I really, really do enjoy to build. I'm not the best builder. In fact, I had my first, not necessarily hate thread, I had my first negative thread just solely about me on Reddit. And it was like, Plumbella's not a good builder. And I read it and I thought, do you know what? I'm not, I have so much fun that like, I'm not necessarily that bothered. So <laughs> I replied back to that. Not, I wasn't hateful or anything like that. People have their, you know, people have what, I was gonna say people have the kinks. No, people have what they like and stuff. And I, I, sometimes I'm not gonna be part of that. And that is completely fine, Hem. But I was like, do you know what? I might not be the best builder, but I'm here for a good time, not for a long time, loves. And I just really enjoy building. It's something that's quite bizarre to me and all because I never enjoyed building The Sims 3. Hate building The Sims 3. In fact, I done one stream where I built in The Sims 3 and I was very stressed the entire time. And I would take The Sims 4 build mode over the color wheel and create style, which some of you might be crucifying me in the comments right now, but that's just because for me, I just find it a lot easier and it's a lot less time consuming. Like anything that's vastly time consuming, landscaping being one, I don't tend to fuck with. Landscaping's not my forte, but this build in particular, I did not know which way I wanted to go with it. I ended up thinking, ah, I'll do a restaurant in that little space in city living. That's not the actual name of the town, but I just call the towns by, you know, the expansion pack that they came with. But then I decided to add these plants because them triangle things in the corner, I thought, I have no idea what to do with them big fat, no idea what to do. And then because I had the restaurant idea in my head, I was like, ah, I'll make them the menu things because that's the only thing that could be that obnoxious around the perimeter of the build, you know what I mean? There's not many other things that I could get away with in that aspect. So I made them into menus and I don't actually make them into menus until like further towards the end of the build because apparently like just sticking with one thing until completion is something I can't do. I'd like to jump about a lot when I build, which stresses me out sometimes as well because when I'm building live, some people will be like, you need to go back and do this. You, you forgot to put this and I haven't, I haven't. It's just that my way of working is like, I jump from A to B to Z to D to F. And then finally I've said the entire alphabet sometimes backwards, but then I've I finally move over to Solani, which I think I was like humming an hour and over. Do I do Solani? Do I do Jungle Adventure? And I ended up with Solani just because I really wanted to use the bushes. Honestly, that's that's my main idea. That's why I moved it here. But I think it does really fit. And because of the location that I chose as well, it's like this big luscious place and it's not located it's on the sea. Like it doesn't go down in the sea. So because it doesn't do that, the basement stays there. Just a tip if anybody doesn't know that, if you, you can't have basements on, on waterfront lots. So that worked perfectly for me. And then because I'd originally put this on such a big lot in city living, then I had to put it in a big lot here. But because there was loads of lush landscaping around, I didn't have to do that much work because I could just blend my landscaping and the world's landscaping. It's called being innovative, love. Something some of you don't know about. So that's what I decided to do with that. The inside as well is pretty consistent, which is something that I don't know about. <laughs> but yeah, the inside in itself is, is pretty consistent. It's just got the same kind of theme. I didn't necessarily go all out with the inside just because as a restaurant, if anybody wanted to use it, because it's quite a fun build. Like it'd look fun in your world, you know what I mean? If anybody wanted to use it, I didn't want it to be like too overpacked because I think realistically for my play style anyway, builds that are way too packed just kind of stress me out. But I'm like that with my environment anyway. Like if there's loads of stuff going on around me, I can't settle. So like, like, I don't tend to have much on my desk. I've got two drinks at the minute right now and I'm not gonna lie, it do be stressing me out just a little bit, but I need both. Is that also a cop out though? Because I'm like, I oh, couldn't be bothered furnishing it properly, sorry. Like it, that, potentially, potentially, <laughs> no. But I really enjoyed this build as well. And that's one thing that I really like about these proper odd shell challenges because usually I really much struggle with actually making a build look interesting and have depth and mine just tend to be rectangles that don't necessarily pop out or pop out too much and I would have never built something like this at all. I wouldn't even have the, the, the thought to build the menu things like that. I'd have just been like, well, you know what? the menus online, look up at it on your phone, do you know what I mean? But no, I really enjoyed it, it really pushed me out of my comfort zone. And I live for that kind of thing, Henny, because what's life without a little risk? But honestly, I think the build all came together in the end, which I was very surprised about. Throughout building this, I was, I need to get this girl's name up, I need to get this girl's name up because I need you to go and watch her channel. This is a big fat shout out. Amanda, Amanda BB, Amanda BB. And she does this series and it's like everything wrong with, and it's got Dance Moms and it's got Hannah Montana. And usually I'm like, I don't really, I, I kind of like that. 
them two shows but no her critique and commentary is absolutely amazing and I love her videos because she starts off the video and she's like hello everybody welcome back to my channel and her voice is quite slow and calm and you don't really know what you're in for when you start a channel off I'm gonna I'm, I'll tell you the truth like with me it's like editing 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 you know what you're in for but with her she lulls her into this false sense of security before she goes in and I was watching um, her critique of Hannah Montana when I was building this and honestly please go check her out because it's absolutely hilarious but yeah I think that's everything that I have for you today also thank you for all of your support when I said I think I need to calm down on the daily uploads the next couple of days are going to be daily uploads but like I feel happy about that kind of thing if you know what I mean like I'm not stressing myself out I'm just like yeah I can do that you know so thank you for yeah letting me and that's all I have for you so that is the end of this video I hope you have fun with the shell challenge I really really do I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what you just make up from it also remember if you're uploading it to the gallery include your discord id and also use the plumb evil hashtag I shouldn't show us that one. You can also join the Discord as well if you want to. Uh, if you want to ask any questions or anything, we will have a Shell Challenge channel so you can go post anything in there. So I'll be going through the winners in about a month. You have a month to complete this and I'll be going through the winners on Twitch and then taking that live stream and editing the highlights for YouTube. So then if you only watch on YouTube, which is completely fine, then you can see as well me going through the things. So that's everything I have for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, -bye, 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 -bye guys. What you know about me? What you, what you know about me? <laughs> Just make sure I get kissing on the head. <laughs>